Throughout history, land forces have attempted to turn, fix, block, disrupt, and deter others through ever-evolving scientific and technological solutions. Ancient ditches, spikes, and flames progress to medieval walls and ramparts. The advent of explosive options produced the energetic obstacles of the Civil War with a direct line to Cold War era landmines. Today, terrain shaping is a recognized combat multiplier and a critical component of the current and future fight in each phase of multi-domain operations. Compete, penetrate, disintegrate, exploit, and recompete. Current capabilities provide limited options to quickly shape the close terrain and an even more limited ability to shape the terrain deeper into the operational environment using the family of scatterable mines delivered by aerial and artillery assets. While these current obstacle capabilities support protection of friendly forces and defensive operations, they do not facilitate the rapid transition to offensive operations, which will pose significant challenges in the multi-domain environment. China and Russia have invested heavily in closing the technological gap in their militaries and reduce the U.S. advantage on the battlefield. At the same time, evolving national policies have reduced the U.S. Army's capacity to shape terrain through the use of traditional row minefields. The standard row minefields of the past relied on mines that lacked the self-destruct and self-deactivating capability required by national policy and global norms. The Army requires new, smarter terrain shaping options to meet this capability gap. Terrain shaping obstacles of 2021 are fixed and limited to the land domain. Detection methods by near-peer and peer adversaries are detrimental to operational effectiveness. By 2035, TSO will need to become mobile, adaptive, and intelligent. Semi-autonomous and autonomous distributed obstacles must be remotely operated and capable of near, mid, and far-term delivery in partnership with all service, air, space, land, and sea assets. Integrated C-Sense technologies will be imperative for synchronizing terrain shaping effects with offensive and defensive operations. Associated advances in target recognition will eliminate lethal effects on non-combatants and can greatly increase the effectiveness of obstacle munitions. Integrating the scientific concepts developed today into combat-ready systems by 2050 will require investments into solutions that are all domain applicable and compliant with treaty and policy. In the future, terrain shaping options will instead become methods to shape the operational environment, embracing emergent scientific discoveries to controllably and reversibly manipulate the very nature of the multi-domain battlefield.